This is the plaintiff, Joseph Labosco. He says he and the defendant dated for several months, and after they split up, she called him asking for help because she got arrested. While she was dealing with her incarceration, he took care of her house, her dogs, and even her rent. Once she got out, she kept saying she'd pay him back and obviously hasn't, because here they are, in court. He's suing for the $4,108.75 he's owed. This is the defendant, Mabel Aponte. She says the plaintiff became obsessed with her, even proposed to her with a ring and everything. She did get arrested by mistake, was eventually released, and when she returned to her house, it was cleaned out. He took everything, including 100 pairs of jeans, her jewelry, and a piggy bank with 2790 bucks in it. Oh, and money. Ha! She's accused of leaving an ex in debt. The defendant's father countersued for $5,000 for the missing piggy bank and a wedding band. All parties, please raise your hand. Oh, there's nothing. Be seated. Come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're Joseph welcome. Labosco, yes, you are suing your former girlfriend, Mabel Aponte, for $4,108.75 that you say she owes you that you fronted for her while she was in jail. You have a counterclaim against him for five grand. You say you're out much more than that for money you say, and jewelry you say he stole from you. Okay, let the games begin. What's going on? How do you two know each other? Well, we met uh, approximately 14 months, uh, Your Honor, before uh, this incident took place and we had broken up. We were broken up apparently eight months after that and I uh, received a phone call from Mr. Ponte. Wait, wait, how long did you date? About 14 months. You dated 14 months, and yeah. then you're broken for up for eight, and Correct. then you receive a phone call from her. Correct. Saying what? Uh, that she was arrested, uh, that she had let somebody was homeless stay in her home, unbeknownst to her, they were dealing drugs, and uh, her home was raided, and she was in Rikers Island, and- uh, How much drugs? <laughs> that's, that's not true what he's saying. Were you arrested? Yes. Were you arrested for drugs? No. What were you arrested for? Uh, a possession of a gun in my home. Was there a firearm in your home? Yes. Okay, whose firearm was it? Okay, I have a lifelong friend that also works, we're all a group. What we do like construction, okay. uh, all together. We're all <clears throat> from the same neighborhood. And uh, this friend of ours smokes crack. He went to jail, he went to a rehab, he got out. He was on parole. When you get paroled, you need a address. So I allowed him to stay at my home. In the interim, he started using- Do you using have children? No. Okay. In the interim, he started using drugs. I was having surgeries on my leg and I needed him to walk my dogs. That was the agreement. I let him come to my home. He put a gun in my home. The police were watching him and they ran into my home, found the gun, and because it's my home, they arrested me too. And so what happened? Uh, they put me in Rikers Island. They put Can't me in Rikers gone. Island for two months. <laughs> Two months you Two spent months, in Rikers Island. What ended up happening Island. with the case? I pled to it. All right. Now, the reason why we're here today is because according to you, she asked you to spend some money to keep her home and dogs going, and she won't pay you that money now. You tell me your version yeah, of things. Uh, and basically, Your Honor, uh, she had two six-month-old puppies. She had an individual that uh, she thought was taking care of them, feeding them, watering them, walking them. And uh, in order to pay him, she was using a car that was registered under my name. That, we'll get she was to that. using a what? She was using a car. He was using a car that I allowed her to register under my name. Because Why she had no her license. Why did you allow register a car under your uh, name? Uh, I'll explain that. She had no license at the time. And couldn't get so, which only makes it worse. Is that by way of explanation? What do you mean? I mean that I, would, the, the, I wouldn't let anybody register a car under my name. Right. Because if they get into a car accident, I I'm know. on the hook. Exactly. But I most definitely wouldn't let somebody who doesn't have a license register a car under my name. Because that person shouldn't even be driving. I overlooked a lot. Why? Because I cared for her. When you, was a breakup her choice or yours? I think it was hers. Was it your choice or his? Mine. Yeah. She didn't, okay. she didn't tell me that at the time, but I think it was hers. All right, so and tell it, me what, well, okay, don't you so know now, who breaks so up with who? Like, that's kind of obvious. So I go and I, and, I, and, I, and I quiet the keys and I go into the house and I find the dogs locked in a room in the middle of the summer, 100 degree heat. No food, no water. I take them out, I feed them, I water them. 
Uh, the house Give them water. They're not plants. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. The house is has a dog excrement throughout the whole house because dog the individual. Dog excrement everywhere. Okay. Yeah, and I, who, who are the people who you have with you here today? Uh, these are two of my friends and uh, my friend here witnessed him doing Is that the this. dog walker? No. 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 Okay. And what about the other fellow? That's not the dog walker either? No. All right. So go on. We'll be with you in a second. Go ahead. In the, in the meantime, I get a woman to clean the place because it is, looked like a tornado hit it. So I paid a woman $200 to clean the place. Who was that? Her, your housekeeper? Yeah. The person who comes normally? For the last 20 years. So how did you get her name? No, it's, no that's not true. I introduced that person to her. She never okay, knew who fine. she was. So you call that's a person who normally does the cleaning there and you have her come over. Exactly. And I have a note, I have a, a note, written note from her. I have a question, yeah, that yeah. says that you paid her $200 right. to clean the place. Now, I have a question for you. Had you discussed, were you talking with her regularly Daily. in jail? Yeah. Okay, and so did you tell her, hey, I'm gonna bring somebody in to clean the place, it's a pit of stop? Of course, I and, told her everything I was and doing. what did she say? She says, great. Okay, so you bring that person in, they clean, that cost you $200, go on. Right. That woman wouldn't clean the house while the dogs were there. Why not? She was afraid of them. Afraid of the two little two six month old puppies? Not two pit bulls. Oh, they're pit bulls. Four months. Four no, months yeah, old. I don't care. They're pit bulls? Yes. Okay, there are people who don't want pit bulls around them, and that's that. Right. Okay. I take the dogs and I put them in a kennel. For how many days? Five days. Well, why? She needs five days to clean. What kind of housekeeper well, is this? You they needed get another shots. Housekeeper. They needed shots. They needed their nails clipped. They needed to be washed. Okay. Okay, so I did that. And how I much did that cost you? $440. And that, are you saying that she approved that as well? She knew about it. Did you and ever she, say to her, I expect you to pay me after this, or it was oh, implicit? Oh, yeah, absolutely. But, but was it implicit? Because, you know, why would you take on this expense? I, 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 she asked me to pay her rent. I paid the rent, 1975. I don't want to see her get evicted, okay? Okay. Now, she said- How you did would, you pay the 1975? cash, I, I have a receipt. Did you pay it with your cash? Yes. Okay, go on. She said she would reimburse me when she, when she was released. Okay. Okay, turns out after 40 days, she gets probation, she's released. Right. All right. So she seemed very grateful the first day or so. And then when I started asking for, uh, you know, her to pay me back, she told me that she couldn't get into a safe deposit box because she lost the key. A week went by, nothing. So now, oh, her jewelry. She asked me to locate her jewelry. That Wait, isn't she out already? No, no, this is while she's oh, in. Oh, while she's in, so right. you're backtracking. Right, uh, it, it takes me two, three days to recover everything, okay. And she I, asked you to do what with the jewelry? She asked me to give it to this gentleman over here. Prior to that, she had this, uh, this individual supposed to be walking the dogs. She told oh, the that individual- Oh, according to you, that is the guy who's walking the dogs? No, no, not him. Okay, some other guy. He's not, he's not here. Okay. Uh, she told him to go get some of her jewelry and use it to pay for dog food, to pay for uh, tolls, gas. It turns out, she told him to pawn it. It turns out he sold it, as far as her counterclaim. Because she's suing you because she says that a wedding band is missing. Right. She also says that money that was in a piggy bank is missing. Right. He knows that that, was no, that wasn't there when he, before I even entered the picture, that was gone. Then we have the matter of the tickets. Okay. Now, you, there are five tickets. Give me evidence of the tickets. Not evidence you paid. Right but I need to, no, no. Listen. The only what? thing you gave me was evidence that you paid tickets. Uh -huh. I need to see when those tickets were issued, the dates on them and stuff. There's a bunch of other paperwork that came All to right, me, let me look. as the person whose house it's registered to. And while you're looking for that, let me talk to you. You're in custody at Rikers Island for two months. You come out. You're all grateful to him. No. And then what, no, if you're no, not grateful? No. Why aren't you grateful? <laughs> if I may backtrack, sure. I broke up with him because he started getting nuts. Started getting really, uh, I want to stay with you, I want to move in, I want keys to your house, all of this. I broke up with him. For seven consecutive months, I got videotape of him doing this. I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna murder you. I'm, everything under the sun, for seven months, to this day, he's still doing it. Under my window, screaming one day, under crying. Under your window what? Huh? Screaming? Yeah, under my, you know, my window. Did where you ever get there? a restraining order? <laughs> uh, no. no, I did not. Why not? Uh, it never happened. Wait, stop. Why not? I'm a single woman alone in New York, and I've dealt with men like him all my life. I'm not going to let nobody hurt me. Okay. So anyway, I got rid of him. He wouldn't leave me alone. I got the tape and everything so you could hear it. Now I get arrested, and I live in a small town in Staten Island. I call my house two days later to find out what's going on with the dogs, to let my friend in to take care of everything. No, There's nobody to be found. 
He's there telling him uh, to take my safe to his house for safekeeping. Next thing you know, the safe is open. Two days me getting arrested. He's at the jewelers getting my diamonds and stuff appraised. Then he says- But did uh, you ask him to, to get the jewelry over to your friend? No, I asked my That's friend to come over. <laughs> Listen, I'm not gonna tell you again not to interrupt. If you can't do it, then you're gonna okay, get out you of my right, courtroom. Go ahead. go ahead. I asked my friend- How do we respond though? I told him, this man is in my house again. My How friend goes in, over there. Huh? How did he get in? Thank you. My dog walker was there. Sit down. Sit down, because maybe if you sit down, you'll stop doing what you're doing. It's really annoying. The defendant was arrested and called her ex for help. While she's in jail, the plaintiff is doing all sorts of stuff for her, including taking care of her pups, and she's not reimbursing him. She says he's the consummate harasser and stole from her. Let's listen. How did he get in? My dog walker was at the home. At my home. So what? Why, why does your dog walker let a complete stranger tell him, yeah, take it, hand over the apartment and the keys and everything else? What's wrong with your dog walker? He, know, he knows him. Oh, Prior they know to each this, other? he knows him, yeah. So he so believed him that he, he was sent him. by you. Yeah, so now I sent Eddie over there to get my stuff, you know, and this guy's going crazy. He put my Who's dogs. Eddie? Him. Okay, go ahead. He put my dogs in a kennel and rented it out to an ex-girlfriend of his for a rented week. Rented what out? My home. But my didn't home. you know? Stand up, please. <laughs> Didn't you notice that there was somebody renting her house when, cause you're no, there a bunch of times. Not exactly. He told me, he told me, I'm going to sublet the apartment. And he said he received a down payment. I assumed that was between him and her. Did he give you jewelry? Uh, yes, he did give me some jewelry. Yes. Okay. Was so there, I can't, I can't account for. You don't uh, know what's no, missing and what's there, not. No. Oh, right. oh, yes, I know. What's your relationship with her? I'm just good friends for her, like at least. 15, 20 years. These are my friends, you know, I trust them. They're always in my home. You know, he had no reason to be there. We broke up seven months prior. I don't prior. understand, so when you call your house and he answers the phone, why don't you call the police, why don't you tell the police or tell him to call the police and get him out of there? Because for seven months, he's been doing this. Making I, I don't noise. That doesn't make any sense to the people who are listening I, 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 to you. I, I, he's on parole. I didn't want to get the guy in trouble. Who's to on to parole? Him. I didn't for want what? him to go to jail for being an idiot. What is he on parole for? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what? Come on back up. I don't know. What are you on parole for? I'm on parole for uh, a conspiracy. A federal what conspiracy. kind of drug federal? conspiracy? You on? What is it? Twenty years ago. Conspiracy to do what? Sell drugs? Right. How exactly. much drugs? Uh, an ounce of uh, cocaine. I think it was. You're not going to be on parole for twenty years for an ounce of cocaine. No, I'm not on parole for twenty years. I received twenty years. Can I explain something? Was it 20 years of parole Here's or what 20 happens. years When of you're a in a sentence? conspiracy, you're responsible for all the drugs in the conspiracy. Oh, okay. So then it's not announced that we're talking well, about. Well, but yeah. But I know my, my partner. Okay, was, how much was, my question was how much drugs, so how much drugs? Negotiated drugs, kilos, five kilos, something uh, like that. That makes a lot more sense. All Thank right. you. So you're on parole at the time that all this stuff is happening? Correct. Okay. And then you don't want to call the police on him because you don't want him to have a huge problem. Basically, what he's doing is harassing you. He cries out the, the way guy, for According minutes, to you, the guy's saying he's going to kill you. Okay. I, yeah, he is. But that's... I Do you want to point that? You have video of him saying he's going to kill you? Yes. Oh, let me hear it. Let me see it. Here's her podcast. Yeah. I swear on my mother's grave, <laughs> if I don't get every penny... And I wrote down, I will kill you. And I'm going to torture you before I kill you. Now you sleep on that. Okay? And you look at my record, and you think about my words, and then you compare them. You understand? You, you that black that you love, that you've been in love with. That's why you could say you love me. That's why I think not. And you know what? You worry about this black crackhead. I swear on my mother's grave. You don't pay me, I will kill you. Well, look at Shaggy, that's only one. I'm not, I'm not prejudiced whatsoever. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I really am not. I really no. am not. It was in the heat of anger. And the guy now, see, here's the thing. In yeah. the heat of anger, those words would never come out of my mouth yeah. because they're not in my heart. They're not in my heart You're either. clearly a jerk. Yeah. You are such a jerk that right. I don't need, I can't I even agree with you. shut up. 
I can't even find the words to describe what trash you are. I don't know about okay? that. Okay. I heard so many things in that one thing okay. that for you, don't say anything, for you to stand there and look at me and say, let me tell you something, I'm not a racist, is just about the most hollow thing I could hear someone like you say. I hope that you're embarrassed. The it's problem true. is, I, nah, I don't think you are. Mm. I think that everybody else is embarrassed who had to hear it. I think maybe you're embarrassed because you're here. I, I hope you're not, I, I hope you're just sitting here ready to escort him out. But I still got a job to do while I'm standing here as much as I would like to just walk out now. That's not what my job entails. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So does he get money that he put out while she's in jail? Does he get reimbursed for those expenses? No. I Why? I mean, she's locked up. He did it as a favor. How can he expect to be? But it's not just a favor. He's paying her bills in a sense. I think he should definitely get the money back. He did it out of the kind of kindness of his heart, I'm assuming. What do you think, sir? If there was no mutual understanding and no written, signed, you know, contract saying that they'd get the money back, I don't think he should be reimbursed. Even though it benefits her? Even though it benefits her, but there was no understanding sure. that it was going to be repaid. Oh, you are so heartless. <laughs> you know? I, can barely, I can barely look at you. You know, there was no understanding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Going inside the guardroom. You have a counterclaim against him because according to you, you had $4,000 in a piggy bank? In a safe. Safe. Can I respond? To no, you cannot. All you right. can sit down. Okay. Just sit down. Let me sit down. No, see, yeah, sit down. You got, you, in your lawsuit, you said piggy bank. Yeah, it's a piggy bank. It looks like a big pink pig, but it's actually a safe in there. But it's a pink pig. Who keeps $4,000 in cash in a pig? Because you know the kind of people who keep that much cash in the house are usually drug dealers. No, it's in a Yeah, pink yeah, bank. no, really. I was a prosecutor for a long time. It's uh -huh. usually illicit money that you don't want to show somewhere else. It's not usually, you know, I don't know. But we gotta, we, we, I don't So get, according to you, he ripped off that money? Yes. How do you know he ripped off that money? Uh, that's how he uh, claimed that he paid my, my, uh, my mortgage. Like, okay, well then why would he lie to you who you say he confessed to that he didn't use his own money and say you owe me rent money? Because One he, of those two things is yeah. wrong. He doesn't want to let go. That's the bottom line here. He doesn't no, want to let go. That explains he why. He doesn't want to let go no matter yeah. what I've done. All right. Yeah. I might believe that, but that has nothing to do with what I'm asking. It makes no sense that he tell you, you owe me the rent money that I paid. And that he also tell you, oh, by the way, I paid the rent money with your piggy bank. Those things don't make sense. I think you're lying to me when you tell me that he confessed to taking money from the piggy bank. There's no other way he could pay the bill. He's on social security. He says he paid your cleaning lady. You know he did, right? No. Uh, no, she didn't, or no, you're not saying no, that? No, she did not clean the house. Okay, he has an affidavit from her that says, I, you paid me $200 to clean no, the house. No, she, first of all, she don't even speak English. In your answer to the complaint, though, it sounds like you're lying to me again, because in the answer to the complaint, what you say is not that he didn't, that she didn't clean the house, okay? What you say instead is this. Meanwhile, my cleaning lady has been with me for 20 years. I could not pay her for a year and it wouldn't be a problem. He took it upon himself to pay her. So you acknowledge that the lady cleaned and you right now just lied to me. No, no, he, that's what I, you know, <sighs> I'm reciting that. I'm not saying that she did that. Do you have a receipt for some wedding band for $7,000? No, I do not. Did you get tickets on a car that he, he had registered in his name? No, I did, did not. Did you have a car registered in his name? Yes. Did you drive it? No, I do not drive. Who's driving the car? Uh, I have a bad leg and a friend of mine was driving the car and then- uh, Is this a dog walker? Yes. You're suing, come back up please. Your, part of your lawsuit is $800 for gas, $20 per day for 40 days? Well, you know, I live on one side of the island, she lives on another. Back in that, Don't be ridiculous. Back in and so, you, do you have receipts for gas? No. No. Okay. Do you have any other information on those tickets? Did he ever drive that car? Uh, yes. No, no. Well, okay, but if he didn't drive the car, then there are tickets uh, got, uh, that were received uh, well, by whoever uh, you loaned your car These tickets were when I was in jail, so he may have driven my car, but I can't say I saw him do it. Were you driving that car while she was in custody? I never drove that car, Your Honor. This, her friend uh, was driving the car. <laughs> Furthermore, uh, her friend- Do you have the proof of the vet bill? Yes. Hand it to me and hand me any, any, any receipts that you want me to look at right now. So here's the rent receipt. Thank you. Where's the proof of this kennel and grooming? So this is just like a piece of paper with writing on it. It doesn't even, and why would, it, why would dogs have to be in a kennel for five days? Yeah. 
to clean a house. And let me bring up something else. No, right? don't bring up anything else. Okay. All right, based on what I've heard, I'm gonna make certain findings of fact as to what happens here. And my findings of facts are as follows. I find it incredulous, I don't believe you, when you say that he's an invader and a trespasser in your house, because even by your own answer to the complaint, although you say that you were surprised that he was in there and starting to take over, you allowed it to happen. Um, your friend allowed it to happen. Everybody knows that everybody's trying to help you and he's one of the people who's trying to help you. I believe that there were certain monies expended on your behalf, and I don't believe that this has the sound of someone who's not supposed to pay back. I think that you owe him some money. It's not the amount of money he's suing for, but I believe that you owe him some money. And uh, when it comes to the tickets, those are tickets on a car that's registered under his name. Somebody who you allowed to use a car got the tickets, and that's as simple as it is. On your counterclaim against him, I don't believe that you are able to prove to me that he is the one who stole some wedding band worth $7,000. I find in favor of the plaintiff and the amount of some of the money that he claims against you, $2,722.75, because my job is to be a professional just like my bailiff's job is to be a professional. And how you were that polite to him, I have no idea. Apologize to my bailiff. I apologize, and I did not mean what I was taught when I said those things on the tape. Yeah, you do, because that's because no, you no. live with that in your heart. No, that's, that's why it comes true. out when that's you're mad. That's not true, Your Honor. Verdict for the plaintiff on your counterclaim zero. All right. Speak to the defendant coming out of the courtroom. Step on in here. He did collect not everything he sued for. What's your reaction to this outcome here? I, I would have gave three times the amount to get rid of him. Three times the amount. I'm glad it's over. And mm -hmm. I love this judge, no matter what she says to me. Okay, well, he did step, the, the plaintiff did step up for you and take care of a lot of business that you needed done while you were... No, another reason just to come into my home uninvited, uninvited, uninvited. Well, didn't you have kind of a long going relationship or friendship with him? Or? If, if you break up with somebody after seven months, do you come back to them seven months later? Why'd you break up? Because he's a nut. Look at him. You heard. Okay. Okay. All right. Just head right around. Head right that way. Okay. Okay. So come on in. How are you? Right. Step right in here. Okay. You're good. Okay. Okay. Uh, Any misimpressions? about you yeah, in this courtroom uh, were, and you want to finish up here? There were many. Okay. And, the, and the first impression is I'm not prejudiced. Okay, go ahead. When I said all those things to her, what she, what she failed to, re to say was the person she got arrested with that was in her house, she went on a cruise with a week after she broke up with me. And he happens to be black, okay? And that's why I said all those things. But it had nothing to do with me being prejudiced. Okay. All right. All right. I was amazed. I was angry. All right. You know, but okay. I'm glad that the judge was a professional and uh, did the right thing. Very good. Okay, Thank right you. around the corner there, sir. Thank you. Harvey? You know, if you're loaning somebody money or you're forefronting expenses, even if they're in jail, send them an email. Just create a record. It's real important. We'll do it for this case litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.